Sagittarians, this is Marishi on my channel of Jaloka. I'm doing these readings to see what is happening in your money, career, finance, and business side of things. I've used two different decks. In the first deck, we've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Second card is the Ace of Wands. And behind your deck is a Hangman. This is your energy right now. Pretty much stuck. Very uncertain. Not knowing what to do about this stagnancy. Okay? You're stuck in this situation. You have no clue how to break free. Okay? From the space. It's almost like you are very much convenient. You know, you've got comfortable within the stuck energy. You might have tried a couple of times to get out of it, but maybe it did not work out. So now you're not even bothered to try out. Okay? Yes, this is your energy because uh, Ten of Cups right behind this hangman in reverse. There is an energy about helplessness. Yeah? You're hoping for someone to help you out from this phase. But I want to say it is up to you. No one else can help you out other than yourself. Hmm? It also talks about, like I said, you might have tried before. You might have tried before, but it did not work out. You exhausted. It's almost like you depleted since it did not work out. You, know, you might have been betrayed before. If there was a promotion at your workplace and you tried because you deserved that promotion more than anybody else, but it turned out somebody else might have got it because, yeah, some other uh, for some other reason, they might have, you know step over you and got the promotion. Maybe because your superior likes them better. Something of that sort, okay? We don't have to go into that. It seems like you have been betrayed. You're exhausted, okay? You're not even trying anymore because you feel like it's not even worth it. Hmm? Yes, death is all about birth, you know? It's a cycle. There is a transition within this card. So, so with the Ten of Swords, you don't want to get up from this depleted energy. That is why you're stuck in this space. Because you're not even bothered to try again. Because you know, at least you think, assume, that the end result would be the same like before, when you tried. Hmm? If you try, there, there might be a chance. You can break out of this space if you try. If there is something, okay? If, if there is something out there, you just need to take the leap. Even if it means, okay, you're worried. Whether, if you look at this, uh, this card, uh, the deer or whatever the animal is, it's try, uh, it, it wants to reach the other, other side, okay? Which is much more greener, okay, than this side, which is just rocks and mountains. But here you have greenery, okay? And there is much more abundance or, you know, the grass is greener on the other side. But the only thing is, it has to take the leap, okay? It might seem like a hurdle right now, Again, because there might be a chance you might slip and fall into the ditch. But what if, what if the leap which you take now might end you up on the other side? Things will get better. 
things will get greener for you. Hmm? What if? There is definitely an opportunity out there. Only thing is you have to take a chance. It's an ace of wands. The wand is up there for grabs. But it's up to you whether you want it or not. We do something about it. Okay? Uh, didn't I speak about birth after the death card? Okay? It shows me. Um, yes, right after the death, we have got the Six of Swords. I spoke about you trying and it never happening in the past. Okay? It never pulled off. Okay? It didn't move forward how you wanted, how you expected. Even though you were the deserving one, it never worked your way. Okay? It didn't manifest your way somehow. The birth. What they're advising is, you know, have the innocence, take the leap. If you look at this, the judgment can be changed. Uh, if you look at this card, a person is blowing the trumpet. Okay, a child is coming through, whatever the darkness. It's almost like starting fresh, being out there. You know, there is an innocence about this, this whole rebirth. Uh, there is this little rabbit okay so it doesn't have to be a big leap like the ace of wands take baby steps do something about it you know go for interviews you don't i'm not asking you to resign your current job and you know just say i am going to you know i know there is an ace of wands out there so i'm going to resign this job now apply while you're at the job apply for positions okay which interests you take baby steps wait for the calls okay don't be over excited or over expectant just live your life how it is which is the hangman in reverse but do something about it do something about breaking the um bounds which is you know bounding you uh, breaking the ropes which is bounding you to the tree which is tying you down slowly slowly no tear it apart only then big breaks happen okay rebirth is all about like a phoenix you know, even if your situation is like the Ten of Swords right now, okay, you depleted, you exhausted, you feel betrayed, nothing is happening and you have no hopes. That is where you are going wrong about this whole thing. Take the baby steps, which will end up to be the biggest step of your life to change this whole situation. I'll stop there. Yeah, right now, whatever you stuck in, it's not even working out for you. You're not getting anything much, okay? Um, with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's like, you know, there is potential, but then you're not getting enough in return, okay? Like, you know, you're just living through it somehow. You know, just making ends meet. Nothing in excess, nothing which you can save. It's just like, you know, uh, week by week, like paycheck, you're just living. You're just surviving. Hmm? And that's not the way to live. Anyways. For the next week, you're coming through as a queen of swords. Your situation is like the queen of uh, cups which is your energy, very much overwhelmed with the whole situation you are in. But, Queen of Swords, as your first card, is someone who is like, you know, uh, makes decisions with their head. Very logical person. Hmm? When she makes a decision, she goes through with it. 
okay this might be regards to your job okay or whatever um your business or whatever okay uh regards to the place you work at the career okay the whole institution you coming through as a queen of swords making decisions how things has to be because you have a plan which is big so you're thinking big okay with the ace of pentacles you're thinking big what needs to be changed okay you know i don't see you juggling anymore i don't see you juggling anymore it's almost like you're letting go of what is not working okay if something is not working if some kind of uh, plan or procedure is not working you you are assessing this and you're making a decision regards to just letting it be because there is something else out there which you can pursue and which can uh you know work out i also want to say the others are not on the same page as you if you have a big plan i okay, get to make something big manifest i okay, get with the two of wands up here uh you have some kind of a plan you want to initiate it but yet i will say others are not on the same page as you they are not agreeing with your plan okay this might mm, sorry what did i pull out two of cups people are not on the same page as you they don't see the big picture as you somehow with the sun card as well is almost like they are like uh, no it's not going to work out it's like you know um there is uh, there is this naysayers within your group who's like that's not that's never going to work out okay it's it's like a no brainer like don't even go for it and you're going to risk the company or whatever um they just even your family might be like don't take this risk because we are going to be in loss don't do that but you're coming through as a queen of swords who has already made the decision okay with regards to how things has to be from here on okay because it's it's up to you how things has to be if that makes sense okay you are the decision maker within your situation how much ever people uh don't agree with your uh thoughts or opinions or decisions at the end you're the one who makes the decision it's almost like you're going out there and proving to the world this is how it's going to be from here on okay with this magician and the queen of swords you're going to show it okay if you have an idea you're going to put it out in the world and show them this is how it's going to be from now on okay cuz so far whatever you know was going on was never working out okay there was failure there was failure and also um loss in finances okay whatever the was the current strategy or previous strategy it it was going in loss like you are losing out so you coming through as someone who is much more like a business person the queen of swords doesn't think with her heart okay she's very logical she's very cut through it like you know um she doesn't make bias decisions it's a very business uh business minded woman 
she she sees the big picture how things has to be and if she feels there is uh, some kind of an opportunity even if it means you have to start small this person is going to you know initiate if there is a potential this person is going to take that step and move and make it work hmm? to get out of this hangman situation you might have thought through this whole thing for some time now you like executing it because this is what you want with the ten of cups there is a rainbow okay so you you are going to initiate you seeing the big picture you seeing things coming back to you once uh, you take charge of your situation uh, and I see you very much adamant okay like I said even if you don't have the support of the other people you're going to charge you're very um, kind of aggressive okay you're very grounded standing on the ground regards to uh, your decisions not wavering you're not thinking about you know uh, they said it's not going to work out should I have second thoughts now no nothing of that sort yes people might hurt you okay and uh, um, it's like <sighs> just what I said okay there might be so much naysayers around you okay it might break your heart but then you're coming through as a queen of swords who is like fuck it I'm not going to listen to them because I know the potential within within this whole idea which I'm going to put uh, put out there hmm? because you have already looked at it from a 360 degrees you have assessed it there was a hangman energy you already uh, put in the time and uh, assess the whole situation okay and you're very much confident you're very much yes with the seven of Pentacles you have put in your time okay and now you are I think I have to stop looking at the cards with a full card now you going to explore okay you waited for too long you are hanged uh, with a hangman energy you have you know thought it through you are enlightened you have assessed the situation you know it's going to work out so you are going to execute it it doesn't matter okay if you might seem like a fool to others you will care because you are going to take the leap just like the ace of wands just like the ace of wands what is a deer up here doing okay assessing the gap here assessing you know on the way <laughs> jumping this distance I will grab this ace as well on the way okay to the greener pastures I'm going to I'm going to reach there I'm not going to think about whether I'm going to you know trip and fall no again king of swords you've thought it through you've thought it through very well there is uh, that you don't show it but you're very much overwhelmed okay you might come out as this icy person who is like you know I made my decision I don't care okay you might seem very very confident but within yourself you're pretty much like oh my god what if I fuck it up yeah will I give them the chance to say I told you so yeah but but you know things are not working out and you need to do something about it so you're going to do it okay with this two of cups and the six of wands uh, two of pentacles you're just going to let go of the energies which is not working out the people uh, who's not supporting you you don't care anymore because you you have made up your mind and you're going to go with it I think I'll stop here this is Marishi you're my channel Shulaka until next week bye